Hello, my name is Joe Stocking. I am Head of Music and Media at West Suffolk College. Um, thank you for taking the time to look at this presentation. Um, as you go through the presentation, there will be a number of links for you to click on, which will provide you with examples of student work so you can actually see what we do on a, on a daily basis here. Now, the creative industries are valued at nearly £92 billion with sustained growth. So there are loads of jobs out there and it's our, it's our job to make sure that when you're here, you understand what those options are and we provide you with the opportunities and the experience and the knowledge to grow into uh, a professional within those fields. We're all in this job because we love what we do and we want to share it with you. Um, we want to bring in industry, we want to challenge you and we want to nurture you to make sure that you are the best you can possibly be in, in your chosen industry. So we give you the connections, we give you the character strengths and the right qualifications to succeed. We want to make sure that when you come here, it's a really positive experience and enjoyable one too. But we also make sure that we challenge you and make sure that you're forever growing as an individual, both within the industry that you, you're focusing on, but also as a person. There is a really cheesy video below here, which you can you can choose to watch or not, uh, which gives you an idea of, of how we are as a team. And, and even though we work really hard for you, we do enjoy our time here as well. And that radiates across everything that we do. All our qualifications are delivered by the UAL awarding body. Now, the UAL awarding body only delivers creative subjects and they understand that creative subjects need a lot of practical work and uh, a lot of research pre-production beforehand, but there are absolutely no exams anywhere on the courses. Obviously, if you have to study maths and English, you would be expected to sit exams, but on the actual main qualification, it's only coursework. So throughout the year, you have a load of projects. Um, those projects sometimes cross over to the different areas. So for instance, if you're on um, film and media, you may be working with um, electronic music and creating a film, but using music and sound effects from one of the other courses. So all the projects cross over in, in some capacity as the course goes through. So we grade you throughout the year. And then when we get to the end of the year, you have a large project, um, which is uh, which forms your final grade. Now that um, in year one, that is accounts for about 50 percent of uh, of the course. But for year two, that is wiped out and your final grade for the whole course is calculated on a big project. So that could be um, creating a short film. It might be creating an album, uh, it could be a large performance. It's up to you at that stage we've got to know you well enough and we've we've worked with you that we know what your strengths are and we will choose a project for you with your agreement that enables you to really focus on one area now all our courses are recognized by universities so a distinction grade at level three is the same as three a levels at a star now in terms of progression we expect students to get at least the merit in order to go from um, level two to level three, or from level three, year one, through to level two. We often get asked about um, the differences between A-levels and vocational qualifications. It's a difficult one because there's a lot of factors that you need to, to consider. It might be that you know moving, uh, moving colleges, moving here is, is quite a big step for you. Um, whereas you might be more comfortable staying in your local sixth form. Um, but all our level three qualifications, as I mentioned before, are recognized by universities. And if you're more inclined to, to be doing more hands-on industry focused work. So if you know that you want to have a job in the film and media industry or the music industry, then you will study just that subject. So there's no need for you to be able to, to do a couple of other subjects to support that. So our courses are full time. Um, and again, they are equivalent to uh, at level three are equivalent to three A levels. Um, we uh, collectively 
want to make sure that students who are on the course are happy, they're focused, they know what they want to achieve. So if you do have questions, if you're concerned about whether or not A-levels or level three qualifications are suitable for you, come and speak to us, speak to our careers advice. Um, there is a list at the end here with all the staff members emails. So contact us and we'll, we'll advise you either way. This is a very bright screen, so I hope it's not hurting your eyes. Um, so careers and progression. So in year two of the uh, level three course, we spend time really focusing on the next step. So what are you going to do when the course finishes? Um, are you going to go to university? Are you going to come on to one of our level four courses? Um, are you going to go straight into employment? We do have an amazing track record of alumni who are out there in the top jobs in the industry. Um, recently was in touch with a with the next student who was just come off a worldwide tour um, playing in front of crowds of up to 100,000 people. We have people working in Hollywood sets, um, producing VFX for feature films, uh, TV programs, you name it. We have our students have gone on to do some incredible, incredible jobs. Um, and we will make your make you aware of all these other jobs out there as well. So it's not just the top top jobs out there. There are many, many other sustainable jobs within the industry that you may not even be aware of at this moment in time, which we will make you aware of and advise you and support you to make sure that your next step is the right one for you. Now our outward, outward facing identity is digital saint production. So we have um, all our student work posted on there. We have links to industry. Um, we also have a new TV and radio station called DSTV, which is going to be going live in January. Um, so it gives you an idea. If you follow this page, if you click on the, um, the icon below, it'll take you to our Facebook page. And you can see all our um, social pages below. Just follow us and it'll give you a, a good indication of what the students are doing, what projects they're working on. Um, so you can you can have an idea of what it's going to be like for when you hopefully decide to come and join us next year. So for maths and English, if you um, achieve a three for your GCSEs, you would need to continue to study at GCSE level. If you have a three or below, then you're expected to study functional skills. So these, um, these subjects are core. You have to do them um, and attendance at these is mandatory. Um, there's a possibility of uh, having a reset in the November. Um, however, that's based upon attendance and, and achievement. But once you start, we'll do a load of screening. We'll see what level you're actually working at and we'll put you in the right groups. And there's loads of resources out there to help you um, make sure you get your your, your level th level th um, two maths and English courses. So we have quite a range of courses going from level one all the way through to level four. So um, all the courses, as I mentioned previously, are um, delivered by UAL. If you click on that icon, it will take you to a promotional video. But, um, produced by UAL, which uh, involves most of our students and staff, and it gives you an idea of um, how those courses are run. Um, what, what we've devised...
So I'm going to give you a quick overview of some of the courses. Um, so the level two foundation in music, um, there are two pathways, either production or performance. We will determine that when we meet with you. Um, again, as mentioned, the level two courses are very much about giving you the core fundamental skills. So that will be in composition if you're doing production. Um, it'll be understanding sort of mixing and mastering. For performance, it's very much about your instrumental skills. Now, for both courses, you do need a standard level of, of ability. Um, uh, so we'll, we'll establish that by an, an audition task and a production task. So film and creative production. Again, this is very similar to the um, level two music course, not in the sense that you're going to be doing music, but it's, it's about core skills and using cameras and editing. Um, if you look at some of these examples here, you'll be able to see some of the, the level of work produced by the, the level two students, some of which have come in with very little or, or no prior experience of, of film and, and creative production. But you can see what they produce over the course of the year. So our level three broadcasting and digital media production, it's it's a new course. We are the only college in the the, uh, the Eastern region to be delivering something um, in broadcasting. And it's all very much about TV and radio. So you, you would learn the skills to use um, quite complex uh, visual mixes. Uh, a lot more organization of shows, so there'll be uh, game shows, documentaries, news, um, to name but a few. And you will learn all the core skills to be able to get you out there and interview people and put together a show from scratch. So you'll learn all the fundamental skills in terms of, um, in terms of camera operation, editing, uh, the management side of, of putting on live shows as well. If you click on Digital Saint TV, it will take you to some examples of uh, some of the shows that have been put on over the last few months. So the Level 3 Media and Film Production course is very much focused upon camera operation, uh, visual effects, script writing, lighting, directing, um, you're producing a show reel throughout the whole two years of short films, documentaries, example of which uh, you'll be able to see if you click on some of these these links here. Um, the course is very much focused if, with, with, if you want to go into TV or into film and uh, you're given a lot of opportunities. So we get a lot of um, external clients coming to us and asking for films, which will, will give you hands on experience. So you'll be out there making, recording, um, editing films from day one. The Level 3 Music Technology course has two uh, threads going through it. So you have the studio production side, which is um, using professional studio, microphone setup, producing bands and artists, mixing, mastering, um, and all the sort of uh, uh, technical understanding which happens in between that. The other side of it is live sound. So it's about lighting, it's about setting up stages, trust systems. Um, we also have pyrotechnic workshops, um, equipment maintenance. And uh, so if you click on some of these links, you better see an uh, example of some of the shows we've, we have done over the years. Um, but it's all very much about being behind the scenes and producing high quality uh, productions or uh, live events. We're back to the yellow slide, um, turn the brightness down. Um, so the level three electronic music production course is very much about composing music. So it's composing for film and games, but also finding your own musical identity. So you're, you're taught how to use Logic Pro to professional standard, um, how to sample, how to mix, how to program, how to record uh, vocals and, and other instruments. And the outcome is professional tracks. So by the end of year one, you should be creating high quality tracks that you can release. 
Um, I've given some examples of some of the tracks that have been produced over the last year, just to give you an idea of, of how varied it is, but actually the quality of, of, of productions which, which come through. So the Multimedia Journalism course is a brand new course. We are the only college, I think, in the country offering uh, anything um, in this area. It's a mixture, so it's about online uh, media and using cameras and editing techniques to, to produce interesting vlogs, blogs, uh, websites, um, social media promotion, but also it, it's about the written journalistic elements. So it's setting you up for uh, a forever changing um, world and it's about being investigative and being interested and, and the curiosity to get out there and actually find the story. So popular music is, is very much about performing and composing music. So if you are in a band, if you're a soloist, this course will provide you with the skills to be able to nurture and, and, and develop your identity to get you out there performing as much as you can. Um, you also learn how to compose music, um, which, which goes hand in hand with the performance side of things. So we have a range of level four courses, um, which if you are 18 when the course starts are completely free. Um, the course is exactly the same weight as the first year of a degree. Now these courses are really focused on you. It's about developing you within a particular discipline, uh, giving you the business skills, giving you the focus on how you go out there and you network and you, and you create a job for yourself. So the course is the Creative Arts Entrepreneur is, is open. So it's from any background, whether you're in art and design, games design, fashion, through to media, music, film. Um, it's very, very broad. So creative writing falls under this as well. So anything which has a creative element to it, um, and this course is, is ideal to give, give you a head start, give you that boost to get out there in the in Similarly, we have the Music Entrepreneur, which is has two pathways. So it'll either be a performance or a production pathway. So the performance pathway, again, very much about you as an artist, getting out there, getting your identi identity, getting your promo uh, package together. But the other side of it is production. So it's about composing, it's about studio techniques. So we will uh, discuss which, which pathway is best for you. But again, you, you also have the, the business elements there, uh, financial elements, just to help you get a, get a head start within the industry. The Level 4 Digital Film Production course is brand new for 2021. Um, the course is about producing a film from concept through to completion with the aim of putting it on the short film circuit. So as long as you've got a background in media, you will find your place within this course. So it might be script writing, it could be VFX, it could be camera operator, sound. Um, and as the course progresses, you will focus more into one of those areas. Everyone will also learn the, 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 the legal and licensing elements, financial elements associated with working as a freelance within the industry. I hope you found this presentation informative and it's provided you with a little more information about the department and the courses that we offer. Um, if you have any other questions about the department or the courses, then please contact us on one of the email addresses below um, and we'll get back to you straight away. If you decide to apply, which would be fantastic, then please do so through the website. And once we have your application, we'll be in touch with you for an interview again, which will be an opportunity for you to find out even more about the course and for us to find out a bit more about you. Hope to see you soon.